We must not let the recent surge in violence further undermine the possibility of finding a way towards an agreement on final status issues or undermine the state-building achievements thus far. The wider region has continued to witness dramatic developments which add to the importance of redoubling efforts to break the deadlock as progress towards peace and meeting the legitimate aspirations of the Palestinian people to statehood could be an important stabilizing force in the Middle East. We are deeply concerned about the decision of 12 March by the Israeli government to approve the construction of approximately 400 housing units in the West Bank in reaction to the heinous murder in Intamar. On 1 March, the Jerusalem municipality issued a permit for the construction of 14 apartments for Israeli settlers in Ras El Amud neighborhood in East Jerusalem. These are provocative actions that only serve to exacerbate tensions. The Secretary General noted with much interest President Abbas' readiness to visit Gaza in an effort to end Palestinian disunity. He also discussed the importance of Palestinian unity with the Egyptian Foreign Minister in Cairo and noted Egyptian intens intentions to focus anew on this important issue. It is important that the leaders respond to the clear wish of the people for unity. The important achievements, especially those related to the state-building agenda of the Palestinian Authority, would be at risk if the impasse in the political process is not overcome. A decisive effort must now be made by the international community and the Quartet to bring the parties back to, the negotiate, to negotiating the final status issues towards implementing the two-state solution. We urge the parties to demonstrate leadership and rise to the challenge of making historic peace. Very good presentation.